Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Annual Figure Hunter. And today we're going to be taking a look at four different oarfish figures. So the oarfish is a really cool deep sea fish. It is the longest bony fish alive and it can grow as long as 26 feet. And this guy can be found at depths between uh, 200 up to 1,000 meters, so that's around 660 feet, to down to 3,300 feet. So this figure right here is made by Colorado, and it's part of their deep sea box figure set. So this figure I really like uh, because it just captures how long and awesome this fish is. And you can see here that uh, they made it with its tail in a wavy shape, which is the way it swims, kind of like a snake. Uh, this figure you do have to, uh, you don't really have to put the figure together, but the base comes uh, separately with a little hole there. And with these Colorado figures, they all come with um, these clear rods that you can cut into different sizes. So I cut this one this length as I feel it's it's about the right length that I like it where it's just above you know the sea bottom and it looks nice. Um, if you want to make it lower you can. You can cut the peg here and make it so its belly is, is close to the sea floor. You know, let's have a closer look at uh, the paint scheme on this. So the oarfish has a nice silver color. And you can see the details here with the, uh, the blue splashes on its body as well as the really nice red fins all the way you know, on the back of it. It's got this cool looking mohawk you know, at the front. So this is the, uh, the Colorado Oarfish. Now Colorado made a second updated oarfish and it looks like this so this one here comes with uh, two holes and the base is different uh, where you can put the two pegs and as you can see the color is a little bit different as the mohawk is uh, fluorescent pink and it's got uh, you know its shape is nice and straight not like the wavy shape here and for this guy it comes in a um, couple pieces so its tail you can take apart and you just snap it back together like this and also the bottom here well the bottom of the first one also can come off and you can just plug it in so this one compared to the first figure um, for me personally I like the first one just because you know, the, this is kind of like the original oarfish, what it looks like, the color scheme. And just the way, you know, he's posed in that swimming style. So I prefer the first one. Second one's cool looking too though. It's not a bad figure at all. Uh, the next two I'm going to show you are made by Kyoto. So this one here is a lot smaller and even though it's it's smaller and not as detailed as the Colorado ones you know it still has its charm. So this guy actually comes in a few parts which I'll show you. So if you got this uh, straight out of the uh, when it first came out they came in something like Kinder Surprises like little capsules in chocolate eggs. So if you got it right out of the capsule, you'd have to put it together like this. First you put the fin, the front fins there. Then you have these snap together pieces. And it shouldn't take you more than 30 seconds to snap this guy together. And put him onto the base. So this is a cute little figure. And even though it's smaller in size and you do see, you know, the lines here where you have to put the figure together but it's still really detailed 
And these are all hand painted. So it's still a really nice figure. And it doesn't have the patterns like the Colorado ones, like the blue splashes on its skin. But, uh, you know, it's still nice looking. Definitely one you would want to add to your collection. And finally is another Kyoto one. This one is an updated version and it was only available in uh, aquariums. So it's a limited Japanese aquarium exclusive oarfish. And this one is more similar to the Colorado figure in terms of its pattern and the blue splashes on its skin. So here we have the, uh, see the Latin name on the base. Regalicus Russelli. Hope I pronounced that right. But this one, I really like the scale. It's perfect, you know, to display it on your desk and it won't be taking up too much space. And it's got a really nice pose as well, where it looks like it's ascending up. So there you have it. Got these uh, four different oarfish figures. And um, they're all really good. My personal favorite though, I would have to say, is this guy right here just because it's so detailed but it's also so small and it's good enough that you can fit you know quite a few of them on your desk to display all right hope you like this uh video give me some comments below and let me know which one of these you guys like the best and i'll see you guys in the next one later